Good morning, thrifty adventurers. It is a Monday, July something. No, I think it's July 15th. Um, and it is time for another Monday edition of what sold for the weekend. Um, today is Amazon Prime Day, so lots of stuff going on today. eBay has their own sales and some department stores have their own sales. Um, so it's um, a bit crazy today. So hopefully everybody will have fantastic sales um, and we'll start off the week well. So I am going to jump into my numbers here and then we'll go through and show you what I am shipping out today. So these are my numbers for the whole week. It did finally uh, pick back up for me. I had 60 sales overall for the four of them. I can't talk were on Poshmark and then the rest were on eBay. So my numbers were $1,326.26. I had $208.50 for my cost of goods, $198.94 in fees. So my um, total was $918.82 in profit. Um, so not too shabby. I will target. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so these I got at Savers. They were um, $8. They are soccer cleats, and they actually had still the tag on from the store. Um, I spent $10. They're brand new. They sold for $45 on Poshmark. It's not too bad there. Then, let me see what else we got here. I had someone um, purchase like eight things from me, seven or eight things from me, um, total from Friday into Saturday morning. So this is one of the items that he purchased. We have a Janko hoodie. So the tag, let me show you the tag. This, this is a good brand to look out for. They make jeans, a lot of like baggy jeans. Um, if you can't see it, it's J-N-C-O, um, but they do make some other items. So this I got at Goodwill for just a few bucks, and I sold this one for $40. Um, what was nice about the gentleman that bought all this stuff for me was he, um, he did give me a couple low offers, which he emailed me and told me, um, but he did give me a couple low offers, but he paid separate shipping on each individual item, even though I will be combining the shipping, um, and that was his reason for giving me the low, the lower offers on some of them. So I was perfectly fine with it because I'll make it right back to that shipping price. So I will take that. So this was one of the other items that he bought, um, and this was a lower dollar item. So this was what seven dollars and sixteen cents. I nope, I'm wrong. Twelve dollars. I'm wrong. Okay, so these are nothing special, Hagger, but they were brand new and we got them for 69 cents. So 12 bucks that he got these for. So there's that. Um, I'll show you other stuff that he got, but for right now we'll move on to what I just have sitting here in front of me. Okay, so these are some Department 56 items. Still selling off some of my estate sale buyout so this was uh let's see this was an ornament one classic ornament series santa's workshop this one didn't sell for much four dollars and 88 cents um like i said my average was about a dollar some items i would never buy this for a dollar to sell for four dollars and 88 cents but when you buy a whole lot um you can definitely negotiate a better price when you're just buying everything and not picking up pieces so um I definitely got a better price by doing that, so some stuff isn't going to be worth it. That's okay. It all adds up to be good. All right, this is the Reindeer Barn, and this one sold for $12.26. And then we have City People. This one sold for $12. And Cup of Joe. This one sold for $10.62. And 
And I've said before, the numbers right here on the bottom are what you want to look up. So they're really easy to look up um, on Department 66 items. So always look them up. And this one was um, Gingerbread Vendor. And this one sold for $13.90. So five more pieces out of my house. Out of my house. All right. Then another brand to look out for. This is Nat Nast. That is the tag on that. This one is, is it silk? I think so. Yeah, this one is 100% silk, which most of them are, um, or some type of silk blend. This They sell pretty fast for me. This sold within a couple days, and this sold for $32. I, the thrift stores don't seem like they've caught on to that brand, at least not by me, so... Uh, I could still normally get them for 3 or $4, so not too bad there. All right. Then we have a couple hats. This was a vintage Ghostbuster snapback mesh hat. Um, it was, I think, 90s. It's got it somewhere on the tag there. Uh, but this sold for... Uh, $12.26. And then this hat um, is a golf hat. So the Ocean Course. Um, this is a famous course. This was done by design. I always look out for like title list and different golf course hats. Um, people will buy them if they're good courses. So this one sold for $21. Um, and it sold rather fast. Then we have Pocahontas and Little Mermaid. I got this in a lot on Ox, uh, Shop Goodwill. So I listed those together. This sold for uh, $8.16. So nothing big. They're like plastic, so nothing too special there. Um, but um, cute little ornaments. Alright, then we have Woody, who saw Toy Story? So we have Sheriff Woody and his little hat. And this one did, you could tell it's got marks all over its head. It'll still sell. Um, and this sold for $20. And it's going international. I ship directly international. Um, I definitely get some good sales that way. I don't use GSP. I, I do have it on a... I, I, let me take that back. I do have that on a few of my items that are really big um, or really, really breakable. Um, I don't ship it directly international, but on like 95% of my items, I'd say I ship directly to them. It's so much cheaper for the customer. They hate buying through GSP, so I do that right to them nice and easy, and I get more sales that way. Alright, next we have a vintage board game. Guess who? This one is from, I believe, 1980, 90. Um, I got this for $3 at Goodwill. I can tell you that because ah, I see the tag. I didn't take it off yet. Um, and this sold for $18.82. Um, this isn't a huge game, but it normally sells pretty fast for me, so if I could see it. Um, it for cheap, then I normally just grab it if I don't have one. All right, now let's move on. Move on, move on, move on. All right, we have this Care Bear Cousins lunchbox. This one was in pretty rough condition, so I really didn't list it for much. Like, it's broken there, a lot of rust. Um, ooh. I um, picked this up from a friend's garage sale, so nothing big here. It sold for what, seven dollars and seventy cents, um, but I got a whole big lot of stuff from her, so I just took that. Out. This one is a vintage Polly Pocket. Always look out for vintage Polly Pocket stuff. It was made by Bluebird in 1996. Um, this I got for 10 cents at a garage sale and it sold for 20. So not too bad there. And, oh, let me grab the other 
stuff. We have a Chicago White Sox pennant. This sold for $17.77. Um, obviously a World Series 05 pennant. We have some more uh, some more White Sox items. This is a Hawk Solo bobblehead. This one I believe sold for 20 so not too bad there. And then this, Simon. So one of the colors um, stuck, like this uh, red one, it did work, but it got stuck sometimes. So we did put that in the listing. This was from 1994, um, and it still sold for $30 even with the stuck Move on. Move on, move on. We have, this was another item that that um, one gentleman that bought all that stuff for me got. So this is vintage toilet paper. Toilet paper, paper, towels, soap, shampoo, all that stuff sells. Um, so this was a nice sale. This one was sold for $26.30. So it won't break during shipping. I don't have to worry about that. So that's nice. Then we have this Lennox Snow White. Um, so Lennox Disney is another collectible that will do really well for you. This one <coughs> I had displayed myself for a while. She took a while to sell because she's got two chipped fingers. Um, if you could see it right there. So it only sold for $20. Without the chip fingers, this would be about uh, $50 to $60. So always look out for Lennox figurines when it comes to Disney. And then I am going to grab, I left, oh, give me one second. Alright, last but not least, this is the other stuff that that gentleman bought was some vintage paper towels. So this one he bought separately for $7.16. Or $7.10. And ten I'm sorry. And then the other ones, there's a lot of, I believe six of them. He sold, bought for $20 total. So this one is so dry. They're all different ones. Got towels, high dry. There's a whole bunch of different ones here. And then the last thing he bought was this one more toilet paper for seven. So always look out for those items. I don't see them often. I got those at the auction. Um, so I don't really see them in thrift stores often, but you can find those things at estate sales. So always look out for those. But other than that, that is everything that I have. I'm looking around, I believe so. Everything I have is going out from the weekend. Um, so hopefully you guys learned a couple things here. Please let me know if you have any questions, any ideas for future videos. Please comment below. Subscribe if you like my videos and want to be notified about future ones. Um, give a thumbs up to the video. And I will talk with you guys soon. Have a fantastic Monday. Bye, guys.